guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. So, very sad day today. Uh, you see what I have here. This is my Galaxy Note 2 case. And, yeah, it's empty. I had to give back my Note 2, the international version. Um, it was a company phone, and my time with it was done. So I had to send it back to Josh. Very sad about that. Uh, I love that phone. By far, my favorite phone I've ever used. Unfortunately, I had to give it back. It's time to move on to the next thing. And uh, in this case, it's another Note 2. <laughs> I love this phone so much that I actually went out and got one for myself. This is now my personal phone. I, I own this one. And uh, this is an AT&T version. I got the white one. So we are going to start doing ROMs and such for the Galaxy Note 2 on AT&T. And I uh, picked this up the other day, and of course the very first thing I did when I came home was rooted it, threw on a custom ROM, and uh, we're going to start doing some reviews for these. But this video is going to be a uh, comparison between stock and custom ROM. I did a couple quadrant tests and uh, took some screenshots of that, screenshots of the battery and things like that. And just real quick, so here we go. First one we're going to take a look at is a speed test, data speed test. The one on the left is my Nexus 4 running H+. The one on the right is the Note 2 on a custom ROM with LTE. Now I don't live in a super big city, so the LTE probably isn't as good as it could be. So obviously these scores will depend on your area. Next we're going to look at quadrant scores. The one on the left is from the stock ROM. The one on the right is a custom ROM. Now we take a look at battery usage. Once again, the one on the left is stock ROM. The one on the right is the custom ROM. So there you go, guys. Real quick comparison between uh, stock and custom ROM. Maybe that will help you out if you're debating whether to go ahead and flash a custom ROM on your Galaxy Note 2. So stay tuned. We're going to do lots of ROM reviews and app reviews using this Note 2 on AT&T, beginning with the review of this custom ROM I'm using. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Come check us out on Facebook and uh, Twitter, and we'll see you next time.